Hello everyone, I'm teacher Milike from English Central. Welcome back. Today we are going to learn about present perfect tense. What is present perfect tense? Well, it is a verb tense used to describe actions that started in the past and have relevance to the present. It is formed by using the auxiliary verb have or has and the past participle of the main verb. Let's break it down with some examples. For example, I have visited Paris or she has eaten sushi. Notice how we used have with I and has with she. This depends on the subject of the sentence. Now that we know what it is, when do we use present perfect tense? Here are some common situations. Actions started in the past but are still relevant. As an example, I have lived in this city for 10 years. See, because it happened in the past, we used have and the past participle of the verb. Another example, I have been a doctor for five years. Unspecified time in the past. They have traveled to many countries. When? We do not know. Experience or accomplishments. She has graduated from college. It's important to note that this tense focuses on the connection between the past and the present. The exact time of the action isn't as important as its relevance now. Perfect tenses can be a little tricky, which means a lot of practice, of course, but I'm sure when it comes to practice, you know where to find more. English Central has more than 20,000 video lessons and 200 plus video courses. Click on the link in the description box to visit our website EnglishCentral.com or download our app English Central to check out our educational materials. We also offer you one free lesson with our teachers so that you can check it all out for yourself. For now, let's continue. Let's also look at how to form negative and question sentences in the present perfect tense. For negative sentences, simply add not after have or has, like I have not seen that movie or she has not finished her homework. More examples. They haven't studied for the exam. Mary hasn't received the package. We haven't been to that cafe. For questions, switch the order of the subject and have has, like have you ever been to New York or has he eaten lunch? Even more examples. Has Mary received the package? Have they studied for the exam? Have you seen his new girlfriend? Let's check some of the time expressions we can use with this tense now. Just. I have just finished my homework. Recently. She has recently moved to a new city. Lately. We have been studying a lot lately. So far. We have had three meetings so far this week. Up to now. Up to now, I have never visited that country. Since. I have known him since high school. Four. They have been married for 10 years. In the last week, month, year. He has traveled to Europe twice in the last year. This week, month, year. She has read three books this month. Today. I haven't eaten anything today. Before. I have never seen such a beautiful sunset before. Ever. Have you ever been to Paris? Never. I have never tasted sushi. Already. She has already finished her work. Yet, have you finished your homework yet? Over the years, he has collected a lot of stamps over the years. If you see these time expressions, your sentence might be in the present perfect tense. Before we wrap up, let's talk about some common mistakes to avoid when using present perfect tense. Mistake number one. 
confusing it with the simple past tense. Remember, the present perfect tense focuses on the present result of the past actions, while simple past tense talks about actions completed in the past. We talked about past tense in our previous videos. You can check it out if you want. Mistake number two, overusing ever and never. While they are common in questions and negatives, they are not always necessary. For example, I have been to Italy is correct. No need to say I have never been to Italy unless it's relevant. I have ever been to Italy would also be a wrong answer to give. And that's a wrap on the present perfect tense. Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't hesitate to use this tense in your conversations and your writing. Would you like to learn more? Keep watching our channel and you will find out. Or if you feel impatient, you can click on the link in the description box and visit our website to learn more about it. If you like this video, please consider giving us a like, subscribe and click the notification bell. And do not forget to comment. I'm thrilled to see what you guys think. Until next time. Take care.